So uh, this last one was, um, it actually went really, really well, and we got, we got a, a good picture out of it too, uh, all the way through, but we were shooting a U.S. Army uh, helicopter rescue team. So these are Apache helicopters, uh, and uh, Brad, Brad got me a hookup to shoot them, and, and great, great people. Really, it was, it was the, really everybody at the base was, was just tremendous, really nice people, and it was a really fun shoot. Now, I, I, I have to take my hats off to them. Number one, anybody that serves in our military, God bless you, I think that's fantastic. But um, to, be, you know, to be a rescue person, it's even that much tougher. And then what we realized was, once we're talking to them is, so we're, shoot, we're out on the tarmac in Florida in like June, and, and and it's it's hot to death for us. And they are in their full, like flight suit. And I'm talking to the lieutenant, and I think you know I'm like, dude, you're gonna die out here. And he says, well, what's okay? And he, he was so patient and would let us shoot as long as we want out in the sun. And he was like, inside the helicopter, it gets to 120 degrees. They don't have air conditioning. They don't in have those air things. conditioning in those things, and it gets to 120. And I'm like, man. Anyway, so. Everything's going great. We are shooting. And I'm trying to do now, at the end of the day, a group shot with about 14, 12 or 14 pilots um, out uh, in the, uh, on the flight line. We're going to do a group shot for this one particular group. And I'm arranging them and stuff, and we're, we're getting there. We're, and we're using one light just to light the whole copter. And if any of you have been on my tour, you know how we you know, darken the ambient light, and we light it with that. Okay. I'm going to show you a picture one second. Hang on. I'm not, i got to get it open but i'll show you a behind the scenes shot first of, of braddo and i well i don't know if you actually see braddo i think braddo took the shot yeah, okay so it. here's the behind the scenes shot so we're out there and it's it's about to really really let loose i'm down on one knee praying uh <laughs> the shoot works we're using one 53 inch ellen chrome midi octa so we're out there and and i'm posing you can see i'm posing people in groups and stuff and um they get a call. A call comes in from the base commander, and he says something to them, and they come running over like, dude, we have to get off this thing right now. There is a massive thunderstorm moving in right this second. And we're like, okay, we'll just get this one last shot. Click, and we get it, and then we go. Now, can we look back at my screen one more time? I just want to point out that so a, a huge thunderstorm is happening, and we are outdoors with a steel pole on wheels. We're in the middle of a flight line, way away from the hangar, with a steel pole on wheels. We're geniuses. We're geniuses. So I turn off my camera, and we start walking briskly, briskly, mind you, briskly to the hangar. And we hear lightning off in the distance. We see lightning, and then all of a sudden, the lightning actually triggers the flash and the flash fires. Because it sees it as a flash and the, the, sla the slave eye was on. The slave eye was on. It thought it was another flash. <laughs> lightning is now <laughs> triggering. Right if you are on a shoot and lightning is triggering, there better be run. a bride eating Chinese food. No, no run. It's, it's run. <laughs> so now we're like, now we're zooming towards there. And I kid you not, let's just say that there's this little line here that is where the doors of the hangar are open and you have to cross this line to get safely in there. A wall of water is moving towards us and Brad and I are Ch -ch 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 -ch. Your son was with us. I, yeah, saw, I saw the picture and I'm like, man, yeah. he is so little compared to now. Yeah, he's huge now. <laughs> he's like buff. Okay, so here's the thing. We are running full out, just craziness to get there. Now you gotta imagine that Brad and I, we're probably not the fastest Guys. Especially compared to these guys that are all yeah, like these army guys are like you know fit, army you fit know. there, and we're out there by ourselves with the rolling steel pole. <laughs> Fun times. We we cross that line, and a wall of water comes pouring in. So much so that we couldn't even get our gear inside before we're soaked. The gear soaked. Now we were shooting portraits inside, right? Yes. So we'd had my laptop tethered on a table mm -hmm. like we always do. The tethered rig. The tethered rig all set up, my laptop strapped down. Brad, thinking, oh my God, his laptop is going to get ruined if the laptop gets wrecked. He grabs the rig and starts to run further into the hangar. Because I mean, it's, it's one that rain is coming yeah. into the hangar. Brad's running in slow motion. As Brad's running, carrying my thing, my laptop 
slides off. Slides right off the tethering. We did not have the stuff that we have now from tether tools. Right. This was pre-tether tools. We have tether tool stuff now. You know it's what it is? Fine. It's amazing how, how ex life's experiences yes. are. You only have to have a laptop fall off once before you go find a company that builds things to make sure that it doesn't actually fall off. Thank you, Tether again. Tools. Tether Tools. So we're running, it falls off, it hits the ground, it breaks the hard drive, hard drive's dead. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Now, I had a memory card, uh, what you call it? Hard drive? Uh, no, no, not yeah. a hard drive. It was a memory card oh, reader. Oh, an SD card. SD card reader attached or whatever card reader attached to this. So we realize that the day is done, the shoot's done, and now my computer is dead. So, and now no fault of Brad's. Brad was trying to do the right thing. He was like, oh my God, let's save the gear. And, and it was, there was a lot of gear. We're pulling it all in because, you know, we never expect rain. Like we live in Florida and we just think, ah, it's not gonna rain, lay it right here. <laughs> sunny Florida, right? Sunny Florida, it's always sunny. Anyway, so we load this all in and, and we leave. And we got some good shots. Can we show my computer? Here's the shot. So we got some good shots. I was happy. All right. So, and it's darker because we lowered the ambient light by two stops. If you're on my tour, you've, you've, we talk all about that it's kind of stuff. We actually do it and show it and all that. Anyway, back to me. Back here. I get back to the office an hour away. I, and my, we, put, we, we just packed everything up and threw it together. I go to the, to the, uh, memory, card. the memory card reader to get the compact flash card out from the whole shoot. We had these great shots. There's no card. Guess who's driving back to Clearwater? The card shot out when it fell. The card shot out and is somewhere in the hangar at the Army base. Now, luckily, the, the lieutenant was actually a friend of mine, so I just called him up and was like, hey, uh, can you go back out in the hangar and see if there's a memory card laying on the floor somewhere? So he was able to Son find it. Son of a it. gun, he was able to go <laughs> find around the broken pieces of my laptop there was the memory card yeah. and we got it. We were, how lucky were we to get that memory card back? And that it wasn't memory wet. Card, <laughs> it wasn't like and it wasn't wet. with rain. <laughs> yeah, and it, it could have slid under anything. I mean, if you go to an airplane hangar and they, and where we were, where all our gear was, there's all kinds of boxes yeah, and like, wires and cables. It could have we're been. We were set up like in between other helicopters. Anywhere. And stuff, yeah, 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 we're, yeah. So anyway. Good times.